Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Apollonia and today I'm bringing you another curly to straight video. It seems you ladies love to straighten your hair and I'm here for it. I personally have been wearing my hair curly for the most part for the last few years, but I still enjoy a nice silk press every now and then. So it's always good to know the best tools and devices that are on the market, especially if you have curly hair and you like to do your own hair at home. If you read the title and you clicked this video, then you know that today I'm going to be reviewing the Dyson Corral Hair Straightener. Now, one thing I have to say about Dyson is that the technology that they put in their devices is on point. However, their prices, their prices hurt. Like they're, they're pretty steep. So you as the consumer need to be educated on if that's an investment you're willing to make. So if you're someone who likes to straighten their hair every single day after you wash it and you're worried about getting heat damage, then it's probably a good investment. But if you're someone who only straightens their hair maybe two times for the year, do you want to spend $500? You know, that's up to you to decide. But I'm here to show you how it works on my 3C 4A hair. So by no means am I a professional hairstylist. I'm going to use it the way that I feel is most efficient for myself in getting my hair done. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So there are other videos demoing the Dyson Corral hair straightener on YouTube, but I'm here to add some diversity because if you have curlier hair like me, watching 10 videos with someone who has pin straight hair is not going to help you. So here I am. So I purchased my Dyson from Ulta.com and I spent my own money on it. This is not a sponsored video. And the first thing that I noticed was the weight. This thing is heavy. It feels like a newborn baby. That's how heavy this is. So the Dyson device itself comes in this beautiful velvet wrap. This itself is heavy. This has some weight to it. So imagine having to spend an hour straightening your hair. I really hope not. The second thing that I noticed is that it doesn't come with any clear cut instructions. It comes with these little picture graphics like you're putting together IKEA furniture that's supposed to demonstrate how you're supposed to work the device. No real words, so I'm not sure about that. So inside of this box there is a stand for you to hold the device when you're not using it. This is the base for the stand, and this is the back of the stand to lean the straightener against. Am I doing that right? So this is what the stand looks like. And again, just a little cardboard cut out with pictures of how you're supposed to connect the straightening device. And finally in the third box is the charger. One of the features of the Dyson Corral is that you can use the device either cordless or plugged in, which I think is kind of beneficial depending on what you need it for. If you're someone who likes to walk around while straightening your hair, or if you're a hairstylist and you like the flexibility of being able to move around without having to worry about tripping on cords. If you're working in a space where there are no outlets, you know, one of the reasons why the device is $500 is because of the technology that they put into this. It's supposed to be really sufficient in straightening the hair because of the flexible plates that are inside. So to open up the Dyson Corral, you push this sliding button up and that pops it open. It also contains smart technology, so it turns off by itself after 10 minutes of unuse. That way the device doesn't overheat and also doesn't catch fire. So today I'm gonna try styling my hair cordlessly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hold this power button for one second to turn it on. And you can see that it's fully charged. I charged it overnight. And now it's telling me to press this plus sign button to turn up the heat. And it has different degrees. So it goes 330, 365, 410, and in between you select which heat setting you want it to be on. I've never styled my hair at 410 degrees, so I'm gonna lower that. I think 330 should be okay. So it's gonna warm to 330 degrees. 
So of course, before using this device, you wanna make sure that your hair is already dried. So I have previously shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair. I blow dried my hair and I applied my heat protectant. And now I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Perfect Hair Day heat styling spray from Living Proof just to make sure that my hair is double coated and protected from any heat damage even though this device is supposed to be preventing that anyway. I also want to mention that during inactivity this device starts beeping to let you know that it's on and it's not being used. I selected 330 as my heat setting so let me get a little closer. Okay, that's one pass. Let's try one more. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm using it on the 330 degrees Fahrenheit heat setting because the flexible plates are supposed to make sure that the heat is distributed evenly. You don't really need to use a really high heat setting in order for your hair to be straightened. So I'm trying it on the lowest heat setting to see what that does for my hair. Dyson Corral has intelligent heat control. Their integrated sensor system regulates the temperature of the plates 100 times a second. The device has a tourmaline edge, which has ionizing properties that help to reduce static. It also features manganese copper alloy plates that flex to gather and control your hair. Okay, so I have straightened half of my hair a couple of things while I was straightening I noticed that it takes about one or two passes on the lowest heat setting which is 330 degrees Fahrenheit to straighten my hair I do have to go back and do a little bit of the back and to touch up my roots but at the lowest heat setting this is not a bad result for just one or two passes also, I noticed that the battery of the device is depleting very quickly. It's not taking me too long to straighten my hair because as I said, I'm only doing one or two passes on the lowest heat setting. But you saw that the battery was completely charged when I started and it's only been about maybe 10 to 15 minutes and it's already halfway depleted. 
I also noticed that when I was using it, it almost didn't feel like it was on at 330 degrees. Usually when you're using a hot tool, you know that it's on, like the heat is beaming out of it. Right now, the heat is only concentrated to this portion, which is where the plates are, so that's great. But I noticed with my other hair tools, specifically flat irons, you can feel the heat radiating out of it. And right now, you don't feel that. So now I'm going to start straightening the second half of my hair and then finally I'm going to touch up my roots and the back. For the second half of my hair, I decided to increase the heat setting to 365 degrees. I just wanted to see if there is a significant difference between heat settings. I have finished straightening both sides of my hair. As I mentioned before, I upped the heat setting on this side to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. On this side, I used it at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see that the higher heat setting did a better job of straightening my hair, whereas this side is still a little frizzy and it's probably getting even more frizzy because of the humidity. We're going through a heat wave right now in New York City, so this is probably what it's gonna look like unless I touch it up, so I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. So I have just finished completely straightening my hair, so here are my final thoughts. First, the 365 degree heat setting was perfect to straighten my hair type. I think it did so much better than when I initially started by using the 330 degree setting. Just a little bit more heat made all of the difference. Plus, it is really humid here in New York, so being that it's humid and I don't have on my air conditioner, <laughs> I think these are pretty good results. And I only went over this side one time with the straightener. When I initially started with a 330 degree setting, I had to go over it maybe two or three times just to get it a little bit more straight. But with the 365 degree setting, it straightened it within one pass, so that's perfect. Secondly, I also noted that straightening my hair completely and also touching up my roots and the back depleted the battery. So you only get about 30 minutes or so cordlessly. And I tried to fiddle with it a little bit to try to see if I can straighten my hair while it was plugged in and it wasn't really working. So I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more to figure that out. Also, my hair feels really smooth, it's shiny. I don't feel like I have any burnt ends or anything like that, so that's always a plus. So these are the results that I got using it by Out of the Box. Of course, let me know what you think. You're supposed to be able to do so much more with the Dyson Corral. You should be able to do curls and beachy waves. I have to play with it a little bit more before I get comfortable doing any of that and then also I have to get accustomed to the weight of the device but like I said for the first time using it right out of the box I don't think these are bad results for what they are and as always I would appreciate it if you like share and subscribe to my channel I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and until next time, bye.